is this woman that I knew. I can't remember her name. But I saw her and she was like some sort of inspiration to me. You understand what I'm saying? She only had one leg. And the family that she had to feed was her granddaughter, children. You know, she fed them. Every day I see that lady usually pass by my area there and with her produce on her head, the crutch her under her arm because she only had one leg. And every day she goes out religiously and she happy doing it. Sometimes she be, hung, uh, she be humming, you know, singing songs while, and I said, man, she's amazing, you know? But I captivate her features you know, I captivate that. I looked at her features every time she passes by. And I had the opportunity to get a piece of wood. And that was the first thing I thought about, you know, to kind of try and see if I can sculpt her image in a piece of wood, and which I success, um, successfully did. Yes, the inspiration of that piece, man, right there is, when I thought about it, is it's, it's emancipation. Actually, the name of the piece is, um, is Emancipation from Slavery. You know, it's like freedom when I look at it and I thought about it. I saw some of those images in the clouds. I literally saw a woman on her knees one day when I was walking. You know, I formulated that in my mind, you know. Mm -hmm. And I saw that and man, like, I looked at it for, for a while, you know. I turned away to make sure that that really wasn't what I was seeing. And when I turned my eyes back on the same cloud, it's like, yeah, even more it reveals, it reveals itself to me, you know? So yeah, I went home and I had this piece of wood that I was working on. Well, I had already carved a piece from off that wood. Mm -hmm. And this wood that I'm speaking about is an old uh, mahogany tree that once stood in the entrance of the airport junction. There was an old red mahogany tree that stood on, I think it's like on the left hand side going up. Mm -hmm. Just right at the entrance of where the, where, where the airport. Um, and, yes, right there. And that's the piece of wood I made that from.